<laughs> Last week, we talked about Pokemon's new Japanese set that is due to release in September, Paradise Dragono. And today, we'll be talking about an English set, Surging Sparks, which a portion of the set will be made up of Paradise Dragono. We'll be going through some of the products that you'll be able to pick up as well as some of the cards that have been released. Now let's dive in. So before we get into the products here, I want to dive into what we're going to be getting with Surging Sparks from the set perspective. And it looks like the A specs are going to make another return. It looks like there's going to be eight of them. We can get nine stellar Terra Pokemon EX cards as well with this one. And 23, I'm saying this out loud, 23 illustration rare. That is uh, pretty amazing because we usually don't even get half of that. So 23 illustration rares will be included in this. And then we're gonna get another 11 special illustration rare Pokemon and supporter cards as well. Again, almost double of what we usually get here. So this is really exciting. And what, I'm really wondering what the pull rates are gonna be. And then we're also gonna get about six hyper rare or gold uh, edged cards here. And I think the set will have about 250 cards plus. Uh, so it looks like a pretty loaded set and I'm excited to see these cards that are gonna be coming out. And we are gonna be looking at some of the cards as I mentioned earlier. So let's dive into the products here. So the first product we're gonna be talking about is the Pokemon Center ETB. Let's dive into the Pokemon Center website here. The first thing you're gonna see on the main page is the new ETB, the Pokemon Center ETB for Surging Sparks, which is all over the place. I mean, like this has just been updated probably like a day or so ago because I'm pretty sure it was the UPC uh, earlier this week and that was only recently added as well. Just looking at this here, it looks like we're going to be getting some extra booster packs with this one. I think we usually get around 9 with the ETB from the Pokemon Center, and I think it's gone up to about 10 in regular. But right now, we're getting 11 with uh, with this ETB. So this is the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. And of course, we're getting these promo cards as well, these Magnetons. Just want to hold off here and look at this Magneton. This is an amazing card. And the reason why I am a Magneton fan is because it's a Gen 1 Pokemon that you can often get in a non-Gen 1 game. Uh, and again, that's just my opinion and my reasoning for it, but it's really a beautiful card here. And I'm definitely gonna pick up the Pokemon Center as well as the regular version that they have here. Other features of the ETB here are just your standard items with the dividers, the damage counters, and as well as the energy cards that you get. But overall, it's a, it's a really nice design and I like the colors and I like that Pikachu's back on the cover of something here. It's, it's an amazing box. So this is, again, the first thing that we're looking at here is the Pokemon Center ETB, which you can pre-order right now and will be available in November of 2024. So the next item here that I'm looking at is the booster box, which is really colorful and really nice. I like Pikachu there in the front and of course you got the Olin Executor there at the background. It actually looks like a really nice booster box. And I'm wondering if Pikachu will actually have an illustration rare or not with this one. There haven't been any posts of a Pikachu card yet, so we'll have to wait and see if there will be one. Of course, with Pikachu being the cover on the booster packs as well as the ETB, you'd only imagine that he'd make some sort of cameo in there. And just looking at some of the other products, you're gonna get your standard blister packs as well as the six pack booster, the mini booster as they call it, the three pack blisters. And lastly, this bo this uh, grand adventure box, which appears to come with uh, four booster packs. So those are all your standard items that you get with any new set that does come out. Good thing is, is this is not a holiday set. This is just a regular set, which means we will have the booster box as we just looked at. And so far I'm excited with what I'm seeing. And now we're gonna dive into some of the cards that we're going to see that have been more or less leaked for this set. And the first one being this really cool looking Execute. And I mean, this is amazing. Like it looks like they're on a basketball court or whatnot, and they are just hanging out there. This is a definite to my, this is a definite, a, this is a definite card that I will be adding to my collection. There's no question about it. I just love the sporty effect to it. Rollerblades there, basketball. Just everything about it is pretty cool. And I don't know what they're doing, but it looks like they're maybe in California or in Florida and they just finished playing basketball and they're just ready to hang out. It's pretty cool. I like this card a lot. Uh, probably gonna be one of the chase cards from this set, I'm gonna say. That being said, it is just an illustration rare, so there are going to be special illustration rares and cards that are probably gonna be worth a little bit more than this one, but it's definitely one that you wanna pick up early if you can, if you don't pull it, that is. Again, we're not too sure what the pull rates of this set is going to be quite yet, but judging by how things have been going with uh, Twilight Masquerade and some of the other sets, it has been a little bit more on the difficult side. And I wouldn't be surprised if this one is also one of those sets. So if you can get this card uh, for a relatively good price when it does come out, I would pick it up if you're looking to add it to your collections. The next card we're gonna be looking at is the Latios here. And uh, this is the Illustration Rare, and it is a beautiful card. And I, I do wanna mention one thing, we're gonna be looking at Latios in a minute here as well, but that one is a special Illustration Rare. 
However, you can put these two cards together and they make one beautiful image. And I'm going to be showing you guys that in a moment here once we look at the Latios as well. But just focusing on Latios here for a second, it is a beautiful card just flying through the air. And again, you can't talk about one without the other that much, but it's giving me those vibes from Tag Team with the Latias and Latios Tag Team card, which was, I mean, I don't even know what it goes for now, maybe about a thousand dollars ish or so. Uh, I'm not saying that that's going to happen with this because it's only one of them, but maybe if you put them to two together, I guess maybe like 500, 500, I don't know, I'm just making that up, but we're going to look at them side by side here in a moment, but it looks beautiful and I can't wait for this one to come out because I'll definitely be adding it to my collection. And there is Latias there flying through the sky as well looking at Latios in the distance there. And if we put the two cards together now, just so you guys can see it, it really does look beautiful. So they're just both flying through the sky. One of them is on the sunnier side and uh, the other one is more on the uh, darker side of things, which they're just two beautiful cards. And if you're gonna get one, you kind of got to get the other one. You got to put them together. And this is uh, a great idea by Pokemon. Of course, they do this here and there. But uh, genuinely, I, I love the combination of these two cards. I don't know what they're gonna be worth. I mean, we know, as I mentioned, what the tag team one did, but these two are one, these two are separate cards. It really is going to depend on how the pull rates are with this one. Uh, how the community uh, uh, receives these two cards. Again, uh, at the end of the day, we are the ones that decide on how expensive these cards are, depending on how much we're willing to pay for them. So those factors will come into play when uh, pricing these two cards. But right now, just talking about the cards, they are amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm excited to pick these both up, Latios and Latios. Definitely gotta get both of them just to add to your collections. And we've got one more special illustration here, and I think we all knew this was going to happen. Alolan Executor EX here. This is a beautiful card. It looks like, I mean, all the cards in this set so far are really, really well done. And this one right here is no different. Just looking at the whole crystallization with the whole colors and all that, and the palm trees around it as well. It's just honestly an awesome card. I, I know this is gonna be a chase card for a lot of people. It's probably gonna be the number one card from the set. Again, don't quote me on that. That's just my quick take on it. And I personally would also love to add this one to my set as well. So again, these are all the Japanese versions here. The English versions haven't come out yet, but they're more or less going to be the same thing. Maybe the, the hollow foil will be a little bit different on them, but this is what it will be. And I'm really excited to see these cards in person. Anyways, folks, that was a quick look at the new set Surging Sparks that is due to release November 8th of 2024, just in a couple of months, so save your money. For me, I'm definitely gonna be adding some ETBs from the Pokemon Center, as again, I do really like the Magneton from the ETB, the promo Magneton with the Pokemon Center stamp. And of course, for my collection as well, I will be adding a few booster boxes and of course be ripping a few booster boxes to see if I can get my hands on some of these chase cards. The four cards that we looked at today, they execute the Latias Latios as well as the Alolan Executor EX are all cards that I wanna add to my collection. We will probably see more, as I mentioned, there will be 23 illustration rares as well as another 11 special illustration rares. And right now we've only looked at four cards. So that means there's going to be a lot more and we'll probably make another update to see what that looks like. Anyways, folks, let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set and if you'll be going for a full set, a master set on it, or if you'll be collecting a few cards and which cards you may be going for. And if you like this content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. My name's TRV and we'll see you next time.